Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Today I'm going to be showing you a fun card from our holiday catalog. It's also being renamed to our August dis August to December mini catalog. So for this year, I'm going to keep calling it both. Um, if you are one of my customers, then you should have this by now if you've ordered from me $50 or more since April. If you haven't gotten it, then maybe it'll be coming in the next day or two. I sent them regular mail, so sometimes that goes a little slowly. Um, but most of you should. Those of you that are coming to camp tomorrow, you'll get it tomorrow at camp. If you don't have one and you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like me to send you one, then just send me a message wherever you're watching this from. You can comment on Facebook or YouTube, and then I'll get in contact with you to figure out how to get you one. It's got tons of fun stuff in it, and starting next week, which will be the week, like Wednesday to Wednesday, with July 25th being in the, in the middle of it, I'm going to be doing a Christmas in July. So it's going to kick off a handmade Christmas session thing that I'm doing for this year, because you know, 2020, who knows what's gonna happen to our Christmas. So Christmas things may be different, and I've noticed a lot of people are going back to not really old fashioned things, but doing more things at home. So this year you have plenty of time at home because you're not going to the movies, you're not going to a ball game, you're not going to an amusement park. So you can take time to really get going on your Christmas 2020 and um, put some thought into preparing for Christmas. So I'm gonna help you and we're gonna get going on that next week. So next week will kind of be the kickoff and then we'll do a couple of things per week as we build up into that. So. That's going to be something to look forward to. So today I'm going to use one of the stamp sets that's in this catalog. Um, but we're not going to use it Christmas today. But then I am going to use it in Christmas in just a couple of days. Also on my website right now I have registration for a couple of classes. The Boho Indigo is just a free class. If you buy the, kit, the medley from me, which is a kit, then you get the class for free. And that class is just some videos just some videos. It'll be three videos that each have two projects using the stuff that comes in your kit. And those are private just for the people who buy the, the product medley from me. If you already have the medley or you're a demonstrator and you can buy it from yourself, then you can just purchase access to the videos. And the first ones of those will start coming out the end of this month. And then I'll release them over July, August, and September. So you'll get two projects each month. And then I have my highly popular Try It class. That registration for this is ongoing and it will end on August 2nd. So you need to get signed up for that because now days are starting to run out. It is a template-based class and it is focused on the 10 new designer series papers that are in the holiday catalog. So you'll get the supplies for 10 projects. You get a PDF booklet that is sketches and templates for the 10 cards, and then you get videos, and all of those are private. You do get the supplies for that, or again, you can just buy the online version, which is the PDF and access to the videos. So this is not one of the projects, but it's actually one of the templates was, that's from my annual catalog class. It is a great class. It is one of the best classes that I offer. You get to see all of the new stuff in a catalog and then that way you can try it, which is the why it has the name. So you get to try all of the new stuff and then decide what you like the best before you buy it. So you'll get to see it all. This is the one of the autumn um, suites. So you get in this class, if this was your project, you'd get to see the new papers, the new, um, both the ribbons, you'd, you'd get the new embellishments. So you see all of the new ribbon, all of the new embellishments, all of the new, like on this one you'd get punches. So it's a really fun class, but Register the sign up for that does end on August 3rd, so I can order all of the supplies when our catalog, catalog goes live on August 4th. But you don't want to miss it, that is really a super fun class. So, I'm going to use the gift wrapped bundle today, and it is a, a punch based bundle. So, if you're hanging on to wait, if you don't have a die cutting machine, and you're going to wait till September to get it, and you'll want to get it from me because, again, that's going to be another one of my if you buy it, you're going to get access to free videos. And those will be ongoing for at least probably six months. So that's going to be a super a super one. And you're also going to get um, some discounted dies each month that go along with the ones that I'll feature in those videos. So I understand if you're waiting because I'm waiting too. I've had my die cut machine that I have now since the week that we first sold it 
I don't know, 15 years ago. But this one is great because it's a punch based and I'm not going to use any dies on today's card. But I'm going to use it if I know you've seen the little sneak peek on the, the thumbnail. So if you are an 80s girl or um, you're making this for a teenager or, you know, an eight year old girl, I've got a smudged up corner on that, then it's kind of it has kind of that feel to it. So I have purple posy cardstock. I know you can't get the ink pad, but you can get ribbon and you can get the blends, which is fun. So we're gonna use that. And then these colors here. So I've got this piece of just Whisper White. And I'm going to use, I have both the Christmas and the regular one sitting here. This pad's ink is better. I have all my memento pads out to ink for camp tomorrow, but I wanted to film. I don't like to film right after I've inked something because then they can be a little a little much. So they desperately need to be inked, but I forgot to do it yesterday. So I'm just gonna make sure this is inked really well, which you know on the photopolymer you can see if you've got it. And this is a nice bold line. So when you stamp it, you wanna make sure that you press, and I could use one of my foam pads, but just make sure that you're pressing everywhere and kind of that the ink is gripping. Because you can see if it's still balled up and if it hasn't gone off the stamp onto the paper. Because if you don't get a clear image sometimes on your photopolymer, you might be stamping too fast. You just need to make sure that it's transferring from the stamp to the paper. And then if you get like ink splatter, it's because you're ripping it up too fast. You know, the photopolymer has that sound when it separates from the paper. Um, and that's when it can splatter. So because this has so much ink and such bold lines, I'm going to pull it off carefully. I don't want that splatter because I don't want the ink to spray. And you can see it sprayed a little bit right there um, because it just kind of flies off the, the stamp. But for this, because I'm gonna use a punch, it doesn't matter. And I'm also going to use a tag punch. I'm gonna punch, do this over here. This is a one of the sayings that comes in the set. So it has Christmas and then just general. So see, I don't want that rip. If you get the rip and you, you're always like, where did that ink come from? It's because you're pulling it so fast and the ink's not all the way off your stamp. So it's just kind of going everywhere. So just lift it off a little bit more carefully. And then you won't have that little splatter. So I'm gonna head, go ahead and color this. Um, while it's not punched out, I just think it's easier to hold onto a larger piece of paper than it is a smaller. One of the other things that I wanted to show you was I've had a couple people say that they didn't feel like they need the new magenta blends because they have the lipstick. So I'm just gonna show you the difference because I still have my lipstick ones here. Well, I don't see my other magenta. I have one of them because I'm only using the one. That's what happens when you have pileys all over your desk. I know some of you that follow me on Facebook saw yesterday when I posted a picture of my pilee. So here is my light magenta. So it's really a hot pink. I would call it a hot pink. See how pretty that is? This is gonna give us our nice 80s neon on this card. And then here is the lovely lipstick, which was a pretty color, but it's much more of a pink. Let me get the brush tip. Still trying to look around the table to see where my so you can see this is a much more red tone. So if you feel like, well, I already have the lipstick, I don't need the magenta, They're they are two totally different colors. Here is, this is the light lipstick. So you can see this is a much, it's a pinker pink. The lipstick is, okay, here's, I might put these on my lips. I'm not gonna put that on my lips. So the lipstick is more of a lipstick color. The magenta is a hot pink. It's more of a neon. If you still have your lemon lime twist, it would. I was kind of wishing I had it for this card because it would go a little bit better with my neon. I had to go with my granny apple green. And let me tell you, if you have your pineapple punch, then use the magenta, the lemon lime twist, and your pineapple punch, and you'll have a little bit better of a neon card than what I'm going to have. Grab a piece of scrap paper. So I'm just gonna color the bow. I'm gonna use the, the bullet tips. And with this, the only trick is, because it would be a piece of fabric, so they wouldn't switch spots. So 
so it's because I'm gone on the outside, all of my outsides now have to be the pink, and then the next one will all have to be the same. So I'm gonna color this, and then I will come back. Okay, so here's the colors. Um, I went back over all of them twice, except for the ones on the undersides. That gives them, just so they're a tad bit lighter. And I'm just gonna use the punch. It has a couple of pieces so you can build a bow and it has a tag. For this one, I just need the bow. And you just line it up in here. The set comes with a bunch of different bows. So you can see it will punch out these three. And then it has the little tag that I'm gonna use, but just not with on the white paper. And then it has a, a couple of smaller bows. So this piece here, it could go on top of one of those if you needed it to. But we don't need it to for this card. So I've got that. And then here's my piece that I'm going to use it as a layering piece. So you know I like to save some paper. So I do need a little black tag and then I can save this for later for another project because this is all gonna get covered up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two out of this and just put them over in my little punchy storage thing where I keep all the little things I pop out because you can get that and then when I cover it up, nobody's gonna know it's missing. And then I'm going to use this punch that's in the annual catalog to punch out my celebrate and style. And I'm gonna go this way so I can put my hole up here. So first I'm gonna punch this out and then I just want the hole. There's a slot in a hole. Slide that back in there and punch the hole. And then I'm gonna take the one on this that I'm gonna use and slide this up in here. It's a tad tricky because it is a tiny little thing, but I have two. So if I mess up one, I'll just grab the other. It's just paper. That's pretty good. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's going to be hidden under this bow. So if it's not exactly straight, it doesn't bother me. So now we've got those pieces. So now let's stamp this fun little background. And this is gonna take it to the roller skating rink. If you are a certain generation or it's kind of rainbow bright, which is a little, that dates me because that was past me. But some of you may be rainbow bright girls. So I have the same colors of stamp pads that I had in blends. So if you don't have blends, you could you could do, if you only have the stamp pads, you could color this in with a blender pen and your stamp pads. You don't, in a, or a, a Wink of Stella, you don't have to have these. We're gonna start with the lightest color because I'm not gonna clean them. I know for some of you, it's going to freak you. But you know, I don't always clean my stamps in between. So this is a mango. This will help you know which colors I wanted to use. And I'm not going to stamp off because I want the colors to be all neon and bright. Again, if you have the pineapple punch that just retired, I would use it. But I don't like to use things that you can't get. And I'm not switching the positions. I'm going all pretty much the same direction. They aren't perfect because you know they're razzle dazzle stars. But I'm not twisting them like you might if you had snowflakes or something that was happening in nature. So I've got that. And instead of cleaning it, I'm just going to take my little scrap paper and get that off there because we're going from light to dark, so it's not going to pick anything up. And on the off chance it does, I'm going to start them here. You can see it's still, this is Granny Apple Green and it's fine. Um, but that's where I know I'm going to put my bow. So if it's a little funky color there, it's going to be okay. Again, if you have the lemon lime twist, this would be a great time to pull it back out and use it. I don't use retired colors because I don't want anybody who's new to be devastated that then they can't make the card that I just made. But if you um, have them, by all means, feel free to keep using them because they always still match our stuff. 
but Stampin' Up! likes to stay on trend, and we can't just forever have five million colors, so that's why they do the end colors. In fact, if my daughter is a manager at Old Navy, and Old Navy is right on trend with Stampin' Up! So if you go there now, you can buy some Misty Moonlight pants. You can get some Rococo Rose shirts. Pretty much our end colors are always in at Old Navy as well. So now I'm gonna go to Highland Heather because we don't have a purple posy pad, but it's going, it coordinates perfectly well. It's just a shade darker of a purple. So because I'm an 80s girl, lemon lime twist will forever be near and dear to my heart. <laughs> but there were a lot of people who didn't like it the first time around. So that's why we have the 10 circulating colors that are known as our in colors. So you can see how fun this is. And I am doing it obviously in these nice bright colors, but if you're making a Christmas card, they could be snowflakes, they could be red and green. Get those purple ones on there. And then just smudge these off. And I could, I could use my um, chamois. So for the last of you, I'm going to pull it out just to prove that I do have it but I often just stamp on scrap paper and it's just to have it. And I'm not, I don't want the, the colors to be lighter. That's why I'm re-inking every time. If you want the colors to kind of fade on a different card, like if I was doing them for snow, then I might do that. I might stamp once and then stamp all the way off till it's clean. But for this, I want these nice bright colors. And I really like this magenta. It really pulls the, the bright of the card out. And you do want to go off the edges of your card. Because then it fills up the whole thing. So if you have your chamois, by all means, clean it on your chamois. And I think it's normally when I'm creating, I just have scrap paper laying all over the table. Um, and my table's often a mess, and the chamois is just one more thing. So unless I'm really switching colors, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, so we have this. So let's layer all this up. The ribbon I'm going to use is out of the annual catalog, and I pulled it from two different suites. So this cat, this is from the Playful Pattern Suite, and this is from the Playful Pet Suite. So this is some fun purple posy. I want it to be long enough that it can kind of dangle towards the edge. I'll pull it like this. With both of these, they are they don't have the names on them because when you buy them, you get more than one. More than one. This is a really pretty twill ribbon. And it does have a front and a back, so make sure when you go to wrap it around the back, you can see here, there's purple posy. That's not as bright. So make sure that when it comes around the front, it's going to have the purple posy showing. So if any of my colors had been nasty, they would have been co covered up under here, but they're all good. So I'm gonna tie a knot here. took my glasses off when I was coloring and now I'm like I can't see my bow very well so just tie a knot and part of the reason I went with this ribbon one is because it's beautiful and the color matches nicely and we were so sad to lose the purple posy ink pad but ways like this you can still use the color but it's gonna need, leave me a nice little flat thing here so now I'm gonna take my seal plus I'm just going to add a couple of dabs going down, just like this, on both sides. It's a nice strong hold. And I'm going to go ahead and ripple my ribbon. And then this way, if you put it in a card, it can flatten, but it'll pop back up when they take it out. And 
It gives it the illusion that the ribbon's dangling. Well, it kind of is dangling. It's not an illusion. So it just kind of is a fun look for it. And this ribbon, because it's so light and airy, it won't wrinkle in the envelope. It'll just pop back up. Let me just turn those off. It was a little long. Turn those off and then we'll go ahead and mount this onto our black piece. And I'm going to switch to my seal because I can move it if I get it on crooked. And this doesn't need to be super duper holdy. Now I'm going to take this. I'm just going to take my purple posy so it kind of matches this and the brush tip and just over the style. This would be fun if you know somebody turning like 50 or 40 or 13, the celebrate in style. Now I'm going to, I want those to look like they're dangling together, but I am going to put just a tiny bit of this here to make it easier for me to tie my ribbon through. So I'm going to match those holes up. And this is the twine that comes from the pets. Just need a little piece of it. And I thought this black and white stripe goes really well with this whole overall theme of the card. Just double it over. That way you have more to grab on the other side and it, when it's not separating. So I'm going to pull these then back through my U. I know sometimes it's frustrating because my fingers are in the way, but there's no way for me to get my fingers out of the way for you to see. But you see, I've got that loop and I'm just gonna pull those back through there. It's easier than tying the twine sometimes. So now we've got that. So now I can lift this up because I didn't tape this. Remember, I didn't tape that, so there's nothing holding that down. And now I can tie these too because where these are frayed, it doesn't matter. And I do want it to have some movement down here. So I'm gonna just tie as close to the top as I can. I could have tied it, cut my ribbon a tad bit longer. This is why I know I often encourage you and I didn't do what I tell you to do. Give yourself a little bit more ribbon than you know that you need. Because I'd rather cut a tad bit off than be frustrated by trying to tie my ribbon. There we go. Because ribbon tying shouldn't be hard. And if I had to cut a tad bit more off than that and make my life a little bit easier, card making should be fun, not stressful. So get all those little flippies off. Okay, and then we're gonna take my seal plus and I just have them both sitting here. I've gotten used to having them both here now, and I just go with whichever, like if I need it to hold more, I go with my seal plus. If it just needs to be a general hold, then I go with my seal. And because this is gonna be stuck over the top of all this ribbon, I just want it to have a little bit holder, stronger of a hold. Then I have these wonderful gems, and they are in the annual, I mean in the holiday catalog. So if you do the class, my try it class, and these would be in one of your projects. But um, when I do the, the annual catalog class, then it's all by suite. Sometimes in this class, it they're not all by suite because the holiday catalog isn't broken up exactly by suite. So some of the stuff will be a little mixed. These are fun because they're clear, and then they have a tiny bit of gold behind them. So it kind of goes with our celebrate in style theme. So just add three of those to kind of fill up that little tag. I'm gonna mount this to the purple posy. See, this is why, if you could see my desk, I have three things out ready to film and I do want to get them filmed because I have camp and now I've lost, here it is right here. I have camp. I know in some places you can't meet in person yet. You can here, 
And with camp, I'm only letting people who are my absolute regulars come. Like there's no new people coming and I'm keeping the group very small and everybody's working on one project at a time. So we have extreme safety measures in place. But some of these things that I'm using on the projects I had ready to film um, are needed in my camp projects. So I wanna get these all filmed. And then yesterday I had it all ready to go. If you saw the pictures of my pileys, I went out and did my um, weightlifting in our pool. I came in and showered and it was about one o'clock in the afternoon and we lost power. And not only did we lose power with all of this stuff laying on my table that needed to be filmed, but if you're part of my downline team, then you get to do these classes, like we were doing the annual catalog class, the try it class, and you get to do those free. So we were Zooming at six o'clock and I had mailed them all our things. We'd been planning on it for weeks, months, however long since the annual catalog stuff went out. So it was the big Zoom meeting that I was, you know, me and all my girls, and I had no power. So I had to pack everything up and head over to one of my other downlines. So we could zoom from her house and I got there like five minutes before it was supposed to start. So, you know, such is life in 2020 because it's just par for the course. Had it not been 2020, they would have been doing it here. And we would have zoomed in with the girls that don't live here. And I would have mailed them their packets. But because it's 2020, life doesn't operate like that anymore. I don't see where I put my card. Well, I have two of these, but you only need to see this one because they look exactly the same. Because, you know, that's, I took these last night because I also give them challenges. And I already have, I know some of you do this. I've already ordered two of this bundle. And so when I was trying to decide what their challenge prize might be for this time, you know, they do the challenge. I put the entries in for the number they get and then there's a prize. I've already ordered this bundle twice. So I know some of you are demonstrators and you're going, how did you do that? And it's because my daughter is also a demonstrator. And so I order stuff on my expedited order for her and then we replace it. And she gets it on the slow boat from China. And so I had forgotten that she had ordered this for me. And so then yesterday I got another order um, that I ordered myself. And so now I have it twice. So I took these cards to show them on their Zoom meeting last night to tell them <laughs> that would be their prize. So, you know, that's the way my week's going, ladies. We all have them, don't we? So I'm kind of ready to be half more than halfway done with 2020. But don't forget, you can sign up for this class. You will love it. I promise you will love it. It's super fun. And you get to you get to try it. That's how I got the class. So everybody have a great day. I need to get this going so I can get onto my next two projects. One of these, one of the other ones is the Christmas version of this. And the other one is the 3D Peony. And you are going to absolutely love that one. So everybody have a great day. Bye.